Why do you struggle in life? Why are you under undue pressure? Why is life hard with you? Well, don't give me the excuse that it is the economy of the nation or your family background or because of your educational status. As much as those things are real with you, but the good thing is that they are not strong enough to make for a hard life. So what is it? And why do you have life? Stay with me on, in this video. Yes, once again, I want to welcome you to our channel. I build you, I build you this channel. And I pray as you commit yourself to follow the things that God is showing us and teaching us on this platform, your dramatic change of story will be testified to by all. Now, let's get back to, let's get back to business on the subject of the cure to a hard life. We have been on this for some weeks now, and I'm believing God to be able to cap it up and wrap it up in today's video. We have uh, identified from our previous videos and from scriptures that God's blessing is a cure to a hard life. And I love again to read that scripture. Proverbs 10, verse 22. The Bible says, The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich, and it added no sorrow in it. So when the blessing of God comes on your life, sorrow will be over. And a life of greatness and success to become my experience. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that blessing of God will locate you from now. Now, in our last video, we are looking at the price to pay for the blessings of God to answer on a man. We said categorically in that video, the blessing of God is available to all. But only those that will pay the price will be able to gain access and experience it. Take it like this. Look at this illustration. A man is in the river and is thirsty of water. He's, 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 he's dying of thirst. You begin to wonder that you are in the river. Why are you crying of water? The point is that the water is available around him, but he has to Take, accept the responsibility to take the water, put it in his mouth, and swallow it. The same way in life, God's blessing is available to all men, even you. And I mean you, yes, the blessing of God is there, is available. All we need is to now understand our responsibility in tapping into the blessing and then making it to begin to answer in our life. And I believe God. By the time we are through with this video, the blessings of God will begin to show and begin to be made manifest physically and practically in every aspect of your life. Now, let's go down. We mentioned three things in the last video. We said we must be born again, to gain access to the blessing of God. We must practice the word of God. We must do what the word of God says to be able to gain access. And we said we must receive the servant of God placed over us, their pronouncements, their words, they are very vital in assessing the blessing of God. Now, let's go ahead. One other thing, or some other things. The next one, number four, number four is we must commit to serving God. Serving God is a veritable platform, a veritable channel, a veritable access to the blessings of God. Here what the Bible says in Exodus 23, verse 25. A very important scripture, scripture when we talk about the blessing of God. Exodus 23, verse 25. I want to risk, I want to read the Bible. It says, The blessings of the Lord make it rich, and it added no sorrow with it. It says it. it said, and he said, and you shall sorry, Exodus 23, verse 25. And you shall serve the Lord your God. And it shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. You will serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread and your water. So to gain access or to trigger the blessings of God on one's life, what one needs is to commit to serving God. Serving God is not helping the church or helping a church or helping your church. Serving God is not helping your pastor. Serving God 
is our key to unlock the blessings of God on our lives. When we know this, we wouldn't need much encouragement, we wouldn't need much reminder to be all out serving God. Watch any man that is serving God and serving God in truth and in spirit. His life will reflect the blessings of God and things will just be working. You will serve the Lord God. You will bless your bread and water. Look at what the Bible says again in Job 36 verse 11. Job 36 verse 11. He said, if they obey and serve me, then they will spend their days in prosperity. That means you will never have a broke day again. Wow, I love that. No day again that will be broke. No day again that will be experiencing insufficiency in, of anything or in anything. Is that and your years in pleasure, a life that there will be no a, all through the year, no pressure of any kind. What a blessed life! That is what the blessing of God will do when we serve Him. So, serving God is a veritable platform by which the blessings of God comes on life. I want to encourage you: commit to serving God, join in the train. Of serving God. Serving God is all about contributing to the growth and advancement of God's kingdom. Activities that will make the kingdom of God to grow, that will make the church to increase, when we commit ourselves to it, that is serving God. And the, the best way to do that is winning souls. Praying for the kingdom of God to enlarge, praying for the growth of the church. And then other ways is you can serve in the church using your gifts, using your time. These are various ways. Please serve God so that you can be blessed. Now, the next price we pay, the next thing we do to enjoy the blessing of God is our parents. Honoring our parents. Very, very vital for blessing. You see, parents are not just channels to gain entrance to the earth. They are not just the channels that brings you to the earth. They are not just merely for that. Yes, we came to the earth through our parents, but parents are covenant pillars. And their task, their assignment by God is to communicate the blessings of God to the children. There is nothing like your parents, your father and your mother, looking at you and telling you that you are blessed. Telling you that your life will prosper. Telling you that the enemy will not be able to overcome you. When a parent says that from the heart on a child, forget it. Any witch... Or any devil attempting that child is wasting his energy. But you see, parents has this blessing to release on their children, but the children has the responsibility to trigger the blessing, to invoke them to bless, to invoke, to invoke them to release the blessing. Look at it in Genesis 27, in verse 3. Quickly, Genesis 27, verse 3. Isaac was about to die, and he told he saw his son that, that he loved. He said, Now therefore take, I pray thee thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy burrow, and go out to the field, and take me, take me some venison. Verse 4, and make me savory meat, such as I love. Bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee. God has put this blessing in me as your father. But you see, you have a duty to tear the blessing out by what you do towards your parents. So Isaac told him, go and bring the venison that I love. And as you give me and as I eat, my, the blessing will come out on your life. So please, you want God's blessing? Do things that will bring honor to your parents and will steer them and will invoke them to pronounce blessing on your life. You know what they love. Do those things. And then the blessing will come out of them and your destiny will be made forever. Let's take one more thing before we finally close in this wrap it up. And that is obedience to God's instruction. The Holy Spirit telling you something quiet you are to do. The Holy Spirit instructing you through probably a message you, 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 you are listening to, like I'm speaking to you now. Probably you are reading scriptures and then a scripture jumps out to you by the Holy Ghost, giving you instruction. To, giving you instruction. Any, every instruction of God in whatever channel or whatever forms it it comes to us. That is our channel. That is our platform. That is a key to unlock the blessing of God on our life. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, the Bible says, 
if we will add in, in diligently to the voice of the Lord our God, and we we'll observe to do all that He commands us. He said, The Lord our God will establish us, will lift us above all nations of the earth, and then all these blessings will come upon us. Verse 3 says, We will be blessed in the, on the field, we will be blessed in the house. So, to be blessed, to enjoy God's blessing, all that we need is to ensure that we work in obedience and we do what God says. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace to obey God and grace to do what God says for time. I decree the release upon your life. And I decree from today, you will never know a hard time again. Let me pray for you as we, as we close finally. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray the grace to put to work everything that we have learned in this series. I ask that that grace comes upon everyone. Listen to me now. now I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will enjoy God's blessings on your life from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never know a hard time again. Anyone going through a hard time and going through ashes, I decree that hard time is terminated finally. In the name of Jesus. I long to hear your testimony because I know God has visited you already. Please check in a, uh, check the screen. You'll see the email to send uh, your testimony to. I long to read from you. The Lord bless you. Don't forget, be a part of this family. It's a blessed family. You subscribe to our channel. Like our message. Like our, 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 our video. Make your comment. You have a question, put it there in the comment section. We'll be glad to, to send it, to give you an answer. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is testimony alone that I will hear from you from now. The Lord bless you. See you on the top before the year is over. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.